Hey Jane, how are you doing? Good, thanks. Fancy seeing you again. I know, I know. I keep coming back. Well, that's no problem. That's what we're, we're, we're here to help. How, how can I help you? So I just want to look at some other ways in which I can um, communicate with the students and record some of the lessons that I'm doing. Well, look, we discussed Echo before, yeah. but in Canvas there's an inbuilt tool called Studio, and everybody who's got a Canvas account has access to it. Do you, do you want to have a look at that? Yeah. Great. Right. Okay, I'll get you to go into your course, please. And I'll get you to click on the Studio link in your course menu items. And Studio is a bit like a YouTube for Canvas. It enables you to um, do screen captures, record yourself, edit them. It's got a, a great editing tool. And it also allows you to embed those recordings in any Canvas page, whether it be a, a Canvas page, Canvas assessment, a um, announcement or even a discussion board. So it's very flexible. And students have access to this as well, so they can use it too. Oh, great. Okay, Jane, well, here's the actual studio homepage. And um, if you wanted to add a video, we have the button over here on the right-hand side. You can just click on add. And from here, you can drag and drop a video in. You can search for your files, or you can just put a YouTube URL in there as well, and it'll embed that video. Very simple to use. Before we start, Jane, it's important to remember, if you're going to embed a video into a course, it's important that you use the actual studio in your course to upload those videos. Otherwise, you won't be able to share them with other people. Okay, so to create your own video, we, all you have to do is click on the record button. And it's gonna ask you two things. Do you want to do a screen capture or do you want to do a um, webcam capture? A screen capture will capture everything on your screen, whereas the webcam will just be an image of yourself. So in this case, we're gonna do a screen capture, please. Okay. And this is normal. Before we um, can launch a screen capture, it has to download a piece of software, which we install on your machine before we can start recording. So don't freak out, this isn't going to break anything. So what we do is we select um, on your download screen capture application, just click on download. And we can see on the bottom left hand side here, it's downloading that piece of software. You have three seconds left. And if you just click on that software now, and it's installing the software on your machine, Click on the actual um, screen on the, on the software download. And select um, open. Will I have to do this every time? No, you shouldn't have to do this every time. So just, just click OK. And if you go back to your Canvas, you can close that down actually. And we'll go back into your Canvas course shell. Okay, well, let's, let's move ahead. So I'll get you to click the record button. So we're going to make a recording. Okay. Good. And this will give you two options. It'll give you screen capture or webcam capture. And it's best to choose screen capture because that gives you both options of webcam and screen capture anyway. So we've downloaded the software, we've installed it. So now you just click on open screen recorder launcher and that'll get us ready to record. Right, and you see down here in the record options, we have the screen, we have webcam. So if you select webcam, what that can do is it'll just do a webcam recording of yourself. So that's why you don't, I, I always choose screen recorder over, web, um, over webcam because with screen recorder, you can do both recordings. However, we want both. So if you select both, what it'll do, it'll actually capture the whole screen, but it'll also have a picture in picture of us there which is nice for the students to see your, see your face and hear you as well. When we look at the size, if you click on the arrow next to the size, the best option really is the full screen. That'll capture everything on your screen. Keeps it simple. Next one we have are the headphones narration. Again, you need to put your headphones on. And we know it's the Platonic's black wire, so if you just click on that, what we can do is we can make a recording of our sound to make sure that it's okay. Testing, one, two, one, two. 
you play that again, it'll just ensure that it's... Testing. One, two, one, two. Great, so now we know that the sound is okay, the audio is okay, click OK. And when you're ready to start, just click on record. There'll be a countdown, and then off you go. And what you do now, anything you do on the computer will be captured in the um, session. And you can save that, edit it, and upload it to anywhere in your Canvas course that you want to. And there's more guides available on the Enabling Online Learning and Teaching website. And if you need to contact myself or my colleagues, you can send us an email at dsc.lt at rmit.edu.au and we're happy to help out with any questions you have regarding Canvas Studio. That's great. Good. Thank you. Good luck with it. Thanks very much. All right. Thank you.